Go to getamazonnow.com and give a gift card. Welcome to humanity. This is our one. Whatever it takes, we got to say whatever it takes. This is Brock Lesnar, and you're listening to Fight Net Radio. Yo, hi, this is Sugar Ray Leonard, and you listen to Fight Net Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to listen to Fight Net Radio. Me, Harvey Oswald, what do you know about how am I supposed to know you? This is Frank Shamrock, you're listening to Fight Net Radio. Hi, this is Mia, the Knockout St. John, you're listening to Fight Net Radio, and there's no way I would ever touch Lee. Chuck Jackson, I am Stephen Bonner, and you're listening to Fight Net Radio. Yeah, you're listening to Fight Net Radio. Everybody, welcome to Fight Net Radio, <laughs> where Lee's burning every <laughs> bridge there is out there. All right. Oh, hi, this is this is Manny Pacquiao. I'll fight anybody on FightNetRadio.com. Hi everyone, welcome to Fight Net Radio. Lee Hanish, Andrew Lapache, bringing you one of the top broadcasts on the wonderful world of uh, fighting. As I desperately try to get you guys back into uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, mixed martial arts, grappling, things of that nature, I can say this. People love the boxing program as of late, and that's because of one man, Andrew Lapache. A man passionate about his sport, a man who actually cares enough to talk about shitty boxing guards. I, I, I don't. I don't. I admit it. I, I only watch the good fights, Andrew. Hey, I only well, watch- you better watch the last night then, Lee. I'm sorry, who texted who first about last night? Well, that was the main event. Look at the main Wait, no, 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 no. Let me help you out. Five Uh-oh. o'clock. Uh-oh, I, had... I did it that early? <laughs> Let me help you out. At five o'clock, I texted. I had lasagna in hand, breaking my diet. Uh, I'll say this. I'm going to explain why I can never be world champion for two reasons. Oh, yeah, I, I hear you. There are two reasons I'm never going to – look, I'm going to the Pan Am Games in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in a couple of weeks. And right now, my elbows and my knees are locking up. I admit I'm 48 years old, but train. I'm training hard. Like I'm doing you know, anywhere from a couple hours a day to four or five hours a day getting ready for this Pan Am tournament uh, that's in three weeks. And I'm training with guys that are half my age who are looking to have actual – grappling careers and like brazilian jiu-jitsu as a sport now is a thing like that's a normal like you can make money doing that for a living believe it or not for those of you listening um but i'm just a plain old lazy white belt who just wants to go and be an old man and go get a gold medal (laughs) andrew knows this about me i like to compete whether or not i win uh i just happen to be in a facility that likes to win and therefore, they're going to push my dead old lazy ass up the hill to make sure that I'm in shape to do it. Right. So on Saturday, I missed going to train on Saturday morning. Conditioning was at 9. Training was at 1030. Uh, I, I, I didn't go for two reasons. One, I uh, I uh, hurt. I woke up and I was hurt. <laughs> <It> was hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like, here's what happens at 48, Andrew, because it's coming up. It's coming up fast uh, for yeah, you. Yeah, so I'm going to yeah. tell you about the future real fast. Okay, remember all that shit you lifted wrong with your back? Yes. All those extra punches you took? Yeah. Somewhere around 45, 46, 47, 48, boom, they just catch up one day. And if you're working out at all, like everything you've ever done wrong hurts. Um, so my elbows were all out. And here's the other reason why I'm never going to be world champion. Paint night. Has your wife sucked you into paint night yet? What, what was lady? Let's use it correctly. Has your lady sucked you into paint night yet? No, sir. No, she hasn't. Oh, I see you guys do that all the time. Yeah, she went. Oh, yeah. She went uh, with her friends. Yes, but no, I haven't. I haven't joined. Her. <laughs> Has she tried to talk you into it yet? No, sir. 
We got kids. Oh, we got babies. Lee, someone's got to stay home. So she's going out and drinking the wine and having yeah. fun with the girl. I, uh, yeah, I got to stay home. Got to stay. It's probably uh, boxing or something on. No, I can't do it. There's always something on. Right. Let me help you out. <laughs> right. So I went and did. I had to go. Look, I'm dedicating a lot of hours to trading. So uh, I kind of skipped a little bit of stuff with my daughter this week. Skipped a little bit of stuff with uh, my lady this week. And by Friday and Saturday, it's like, we're going out. I'm like, okay, we're going out. (laughs) What am I going to say? It's not like this is life or death and I'm Deontay Wilder in a heavyweight showdown card. Um, And the other problem is I like lasagna. (laughs) That that was a good time yesterday. (laughs) I, uh, by five o'clock for that fight card, I had texted you. I had made a lasagna. I had already, well, I started off in a good spot, right? I ate a wedge. That's all I was going to have. And then I thought, well, I'll make that lasagna that I was going to make for everybody. They're going to be home shortly, so we'll have the lasagna for everybody. Um, and I wound up eating the lasagna before everybody came home. What did you have for the fight to eat? Um, what did we have yesterday? I think we ate at the out at the wrestling tournament, Lee. I didn't have a dinner when I got home. I got home like at 4.45, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I was at a tournament all day. That's what I, okay. It was hot dogs and like uh, hot links and chips, all that good stuff. Are you a hot links guy? Oh yeah, yes, I love them. What What do you eat on your hot links? Just mustard, dude. I, just mustard. I don't get to. I don't get to eat bad shit right now. <laughs> just mustard. like I'm keeping my voice down, like anybody in the house will hear me. Or here's the problem: like people who I train with listen to this show. Do they even I, want you to to do this? The people that you actually live with, not train with. Start okay. So here's how it started off. It started off in a big no. Nobody wants to see me. Right. Get her. right. Nobody. Like I have a notorious record for spectacular injuries. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know my record, just Google my name and just enjoy the the chaos. Um, however, by the second or third month of training, hey, what the hell? Actually, what the hell did you do to your ear the other day, bro? You're draining it. I didn't even watch it. Lee, as soon as I seen the, the needle, I knew what they were going to do. I was like, this guy, call a, call a flower. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that was disgusting, bro. Isn't it? I don't have the magnets yet to keep the cauliflower <laughs> ear down. Oh uh, yeah, it's pretty spectacular. <laughs> Just add it to the list. So, huh? so after six months of training, I've decided to start wearing the headgear. It's kind of the horse is out of the barn kind of thing. So now I've got to keep draining the ear till after I get out of the tournament so that I can wear the magnets for a week and get the ear under control. Or I'm going to have this deformed ear on the left side of my head. <laughs> That's a thing. Yeah. You did. And it's a bad one. I told you it was coming. I told you, I said, stop doing it while you're ahead, Lee. And now you got fucked up ear syndrome. Okay, so here's so you'll appreciate this, Andrew. I did a tally of all the injuries over the last six months. Two broken noses. Oh, yeah. um, my left ring finger is dislocated to the point where I can't put a ring over my knuckle. Um and it hurts. It just hurts to close it now. Uh, my right ring finger is a little dislocated at the moment. I've got two strains in either elbow. My left shoulder, I think I have a partial strain or tear on that shoulder. My left knee recently started to buckle, and my right hip is buckling. And we uh, and we still don't know what Billy did to you internally. You won't know that until you get like an X ray and exam. Oh no, we won't. Yeah, yeah like, and Doctor will be like, Did, "Were you in a minor car accident?" And you'll think back to the heavyweight. Punch yeah, why is you. there scar tissue? <laughs> why is there scar tissue on your vital organs? Um, I showed that to a couple of people, and they go, "That was a pretty big punch." I said, "Eh, <laughs> happens. Happens in my line of work." Uh, there you guys go. That's the big update. And and here's the thing. Not like Deontay Wilder, man. Deontay Wilder, I watched the training videos. Did he even train for this fight? You know, they both, to me, they look cold. That's not one thing that I thought the commentators missed. They weren't, no one was sweating in that first round. Um, so, yeah, they started off slow. I think Deontay showed a lot of flaws uh, yesterday. You've seen Virgil Hunter point out a few times about him moving straight back and how he was... Um, in range for the jab right hand to land by Washington. Um, we also seen Washington land some left hooks um, while Deontay was throwing that bow and arrow type right. You know, when I say that, you got to think of, um, you know, pulling a bow and arrow back. That's really what it looks like when Deontay's throwing his punches. And Washington was able to, to counter inside of that. 
Um, but like all the matches, it was the it was the night of the right hand yesterday. Deontay's power is real. Um, that that punch, there mm. wasn't a lot of them. Lee, mm. uh, Lee, I know it's the- all right. Let's start from the yeah, beginning. Go so ahead. it's five go. o'clock. So it's five o'clock. You and I jump in front of our couches. You grab a cold one from the refrigerator. Start. I'm guessing you're fending off kids at this point and like trying to find remotes and yes, getting actually, actually, you guys, four forty five. I don't even get the kids out of the car. Christina's waiting in the car. I run to the front door, open it up, turn on the TV. Boxing on uh, first. Then we go back to get kids. That's how I did it. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, she wasn't happy, bro. She wasn't happy. Yeah, I'm gonna take a wild guess that you. I gotta hit you record, to, no, Lee. I, here's the thing. I, no, you didn't have to hit record. Look, the first fight didn't go off for another 15 minutes. So, all right, five o'clock. All of you listening, we all jump in front of Fox TV on a Saturday night because let's face it, we're anybody who was home watching this, you have no life. You just have no life, and that's understandable. You have kids. You're an adult. You don't have something better to do because this fight didn't merit a Saturday night on Fox. It merited like a Saturday night on Spike. I mean, I'll say it was an entertaining card. The first card of the night was Dominic Brazil fighting on uh, Isuzu Wagon. Uh, Izuu Uogano, Ugano, yeah, uh, Ugano. Of, of Greater Ghana or Africa. I, I'm not trying to be derogatory. Like This dude is like straight over. They had him completely in place to be what, 17-0, and 0, 14 by knockouts. They bring this guy in to basically pick up a win over Brazil and launch Izu's career. That's what it looked like to me. Like, the money and the press was on Izu. I don't think it was on Dominic Brazil. I don't, I don't ever, or if you want to say it like, uh, like <laughs> say it hey, you, like you, Laura Vander Holyfield. Dominic Brazil. Didn't he look like the guy? I mean, come on, you're talking about a, he he was from Poland or he you know, he lives in Poland now. He's a kickboxing champ trying to come over to boxing. Body looked like a world champ. I mean, he his size no, looked the part. He, he and, did. He did. And as much as the announcing crew, which if they didn't have Virgil, there'd be no less reason to like have the sound up. Exactly. I mean, yeah. I yeah, I, I like Ab Abner doesn't really add anything. I mean, he tries. I, I don't. I don't have a problem with Abner. I don't. I do not know what was up with getting. Did they just want to give money to Evander Holyfield because they had heavyweights on? Like that's really all they did. Like Evander, what did you think? Oh, so who won the round? Are you trying to say you didn't understand him, Lee? And they had him turned all the way up like you could hear like audio popping in the background because they were over compressing his microphone. I mean, I understood him, but he said the same thing repeatedly. Yeah, he did a lot of work. It was good to the body. It was really an entertaining round to watch. Well, who won the round? Doesn't matter. I enjoyed the round. He said that. Right. And that's really what you get when all you have are professional fighters. These aren't professional commentators. So well, you have one professional commentator who kept trying to go. I don't want to lead anybody down the path and like have you believe that one fighter is more favored over the other. Like some of the end. He said this. I don't want us to talk about favorites as other announced teams do. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Hey, he's taking a shot at someone. Shots Actually, fired. <laughs> well, let me Look, help you back out. Back to the fight. They, though, were on, they were on the Izu bandwagon from the beginning. Like it was, they a were great, it was a great fight. They weren't on it too long because that fight started going back and forth really early. That was old school, man. That was old school boxing right there were two big men, heavyweights, guys yeah. that look like they belong. You want, you want my opinion and nobody's uh, going to like this. They were, they were throwing. They were two low end shitty fighters. Oh, no, no, throwing no, no, no. Bombs. no, no. Well, you know don't what? Don't tell me I'm these not class fighters. We don't know that yet. Look at it. Brazil's only had one shot at the title, and it was against Anthony Joshua, a guy that has a lot more experience than um, Brazil. You remember, he came into this sport late. These are both uh, um, football players that got injured and turned to boxing. Give him time. I'm not saying he beats Deontay, but he showed the heart last night to at least – we know if the PBC gets this fight together – 
This is They're what not. this is won't lead. They don't really have. I'll that tell many... you what I saw. If I am the PBC, okay, 